Did you know that you can do this with an egg? In this short video I show you exactly how it works. In the first step you need a lemon. Cut it open and juice it, because what we need from this is the seeds. So make sure to take the seeds out, put them on a cloth and dry them a bit. Then you have to remove the outer skin. This is best done with your fingernails. Then you have the bare core as you can see here. Now lay them on the paper towel and dampen them a little. Now you should fold the paper towel a little bit and then make it completely wet again. It should be really wet but not so wet that it drips completely. Then comes the next step. For this you need a tin or a jar like this. Put the cloth with the seeds in here. Put the lid on and put it in a dark place for 2 to 3 weeks. In between you should always check that the cloth is still moist. When the time is up and you take it out again you should see that some seeds have now formed the root here. Then we are ready for the next step. Because now we need the eggs. You should open them carefully at the top. You can still use the egg itself. We only need the shell. Use a nail to make a small hole at the bottom of the eggshell and then fill it with growing soil so that there is still a little space at the top. This is where the core should go, with the root pointing downwards. Cover the top with a little soil and place the whole thing either in an eggshell or for example on the lid of a bottle, depending on how many of them you prepare. Now you can moisten them a little and put them in a sunny place. You should make sure that the soil is always a little moist every day. After a while you will notice that small plants have formed here. To replant them take another pot, put some more soil in it, crush the egg and put it in whole with the plant. This way the plant can continue to benefit from the nutrients in the eggshell. Now put it in a sunny place, water it regularly because this way you have planted your own little lemon tree. Want to know why you should put rice in your washing machine? Then be sure to watch the video I'm linking to you here.